hey guys welcome back to the channel today my name is usetale if you're new here you're highly welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back so today i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i made my beautiful blazer jacket if that's something you're interested in please keep on watching and let's get started welcome back guys so in my last tutorial, I shared with you guys how I drafted out this pattern. If you haven't seen that video, please go ahead and watch it here. So I went ahead to use the pattern paper to cut on my fabric and as well the lining pieces. So this is what I have. But for the center front, I used the actual fabric to cut the lining pieces. You will know why I do this in the course of this video. So this is what I have. I also went ahead to cut the sleeve the actual fabric and the lining pieces now i'm going to go ahead and remove all the pattern paper and mark out all the wrong faces so that you won't mess this up while you are sewing so guys after doing that i'm going to go ahead and bring my hair stay i'm going to iron the hair stay to both the actual fabric and the lining pieces This is what I have after I was done ironing hair stay to all the pieces, okay? I also ironed hair stay to the sleeve as well. So this is what I have. Now I'm going to go ahead and place the back pieces aside. Then we start working on the front pieces. So these are the front pieces. I'm going to as well place the lining pieces of the front pieces aside. Now I'm going to go ahead and join the front pieces together. So these are the two center front pieces. Now I'm going to um, bring the side pieces. So just go ahead and place the side pieces on it like this. You're going to go ahead and sew this. Just join it together the way you see me doing. After you're done doing that, you're also going to go ahead and join it to this other side. Go ahead and join it together just like that. This is what I had after I was done joining and ironing. You can see how it came out. So this is what you're going to have. After you're done doing this, guys, now I'm going to place these front pieces aside. I'll bring the back pieces. Now I'm going to join the two center back pieces together just like this. This is what I had after I was done joining the center back pieces together. So this is it. Now I'm going to join the side to it. So go ahead and place it together like this and join it together. Then you're going to do the same thing to the other side. Join it as well. This is what you're going to have after joining, okay? So now this is the back piece. I've joined everything together. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring the front pieces. I'm going to be joining the shoulders. So just place them together like the way you see me doing, just like this. Now you're going to go ahead and take this to the sewing machine and just join the shoulders just like this. This is what I had after I was done joining the shoulders together, guys. So this is how it is coming out. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to bring the sleeves. I'm going to go ahead and measure around the armhole of the sleeve. So just go ahead and measure what you have here. I have 10 inches. Now I'm going to make sure that the armhole on this jacket is up to 10 inches. So just go ahead and measure around. If it's not up to what you need, you're going to expand it. So I currently have 9 inches. So I'm just going to go ahead and place it together like the way you see me doing. So just go ahead and place it together like this and cut out of it a little bit. So guys, after cutting, now you're going to place um, the two front armhole area together. So just place your fabric together the way you see me doing. Now you are going to reshape on the front armhole. You know the front and the back armhole is not the same thing. So I'm going to be cutting out of the front armhole again just like this so this is what you're going to have now after doing this now the next thing i'm going to do is to place this together like this i'm going to go ahead and join the sides so just place it together like this measure your round armhole measurements divided by two so guys so this is it now i'm going to go ahead and join it together you do the same thing to the other side 
so this is what i had after i was done joining the two sides together so this is it now i'm going to bring the sleeves while we were cutting the sleeve guys we did not differentiate between the front and the back and well, you know it's not the same thing so i'm just going to go ahead and place the sleeves together like this just the way you see me doing i'm going to make notch at the middle just like this now what i'm going to be doing is i'm just going to be reshaping one part of this just cut out of it a little bit so guys just the way you see me doing it go ahead and cut out of it like this after you're done cutting so now you're going to mark this this is going to be the armhole for the front part okay so this is what you're going to have i'm going to go ahead now to use that to do the same thing to the lining piece so go ahead and do the same thing to the lining of the sleeve now this is what we have guys so this is it mark it as well so that you will know which part is the armhole for the front after doing that guys now i'm going to bring the sleeve i'm going to go ahead and join it using the one inch sewing allowance that i added while we were cutting so go ahead and join it so guys this is what i had after i was done joining it together as you can see now i'm going to go ahead and bring the fabric i'm going to be joining the sleeve to the fabric so just flip it out like this flip it out to the right side so after you're done doing that this part is supposed to be for the front armhole so i'm going to be placing it i realize this is not for this side so i'm going to be using the one that corresponds to it so this now is going to be facing the front armhole so go ahead and put this part where you joined it together like this then you're going to pin it down so guys after pinning you're just going to align this um just place it together and pin it down just like the way you see me doing so arrange it on it like this and pin it down all the way to the end so guys this is what i had after i was done pinning i'm going to sew it round then you will do the same thing to the other sleeve this is what i have after i was done attaching the sleeve to the body as you can see so you can see our jacket is already coming out nice now i'm going to bring all the lining pieces i'm going to go ahead and join all the lining pieces together just the same way that i did for the actual fabric so this is what i have after i was done joining all the lining pieces together so this is it now i'm going to bring the actual fabric i will place it together like this so just go ahead and place the neck together the way you see me doing also place the neck of the actual fabric together just like this then you're going to put the two together like the way you see me doing put the two together like this now you're going to go ahead and measure two and a half inches so just measure two and a half inches like this and make a mark there so this mark is where our color is going to get to now after making that mark you're going to go ahead and measure what you have from that mark all the way to the other end where the mark is so i have 16 inches now i'm going to bring a fabric that i'll be using to cut the color go ahead and fold your fabric into two like this then you're going to fold it together again after doing that now i'm going to take the 16 inches that i had divided by two so i'm going to be marking 16 inches divided by two this is what i have i will add extra half inch for the sewing allowance go ahead and connect this after doing that come here and measure up three and a half inches then you're going to come here and measure two and a half inches so after doing that you're going to connect it just like this now after you're done doing that you're going to come here to this line and you go out by half inch extra half inch so just connect it like this now you're going to go ahead and cut this out so guys after cutting i'm going to iron hair stay to this color so just go ahead and iron hair stay to it like this and trim it out so guys after doing that now the next thing is to take this to the sewing machine you're just going to go ahead and join the sides using the half inch that we added so just go ahead and join it like this this is what i had after i was done joining and ironing now i'm going to go ahead and bring the fabric i'm going to be placing the collar on the fabric so just place the collar where you notch the middle of your collar place it on the middle of the fabric like this and pin it down 
So after doing that, you're going to bring the lining piece. You're also going to be placing the lining piece on the collar, making sure that the right sides are facing each other. So go ahead and pin the lining to the actual fabric just like this. After you're done doing that, guys, you're just going to pin everything together. So just pin the collar to the actual fabric and the lining, pin everything together all the way to the end. Go ahead and pin the other side together as well. So guys, this is what I have after I was done pinning. I'm going to take the two sewing machine and sew. So this is what I had after sewing. Now I'm going to go ahead and make notches on this part that I just sewed. So guys, this is what you're going to have. So when you look at it from the front, so this is how the color is looking like, okay? The next thing I went ahead to do was to create a hole here at the lining part of the back so i created a hole there where i will be turning it out after i'm done sewing now i'm going to put the sleeve the lining sleeve inside the sleeve of the actual fabric so just go ahead and put the sleeve of the lining inside the sleeve of the actual fabric like the way you see me doing okay just like this then you're going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side put the sleeve of the lining inside the sleeve of the actual fabric after you're done doing that, you're going to place this um, front part together like this. So just place it together. Then I'm going to make in a little curve here. This is totally optional. You can choose to make your straight. But I decided to make a curve just like this at the front. So it's going to give it more beauty. So this is what I have. After I'm done doing that, now I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and just sew it round. Sew it just round like this all the way to the other side so this is what you're going to go ahead and do guys so just sew it so this is what i had after i was done sewing guys as you can see now i'm going to be flipping it out from this hole that i have at the middle of my lining piece so go ahead and flip it out like this then you're going to give it a very good ironing After ironing guys, this is what you're going to have. Now I'm going to place the sleeve of the lining piece inside of the sleeve of the actual fabric again. So just go ahead and place it inside like this. After you're done doing that, you're going to fold it. You're going to just fold it like this. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. Fold the lining piece and as well fold the fabric, place it together and pin it down. Okay? Then you're going to just keep folding it so fold both the lining and the actual fabric together and pin down just the way you see me doing guys so you're going to keep doing this till you are done doing everything so guys this is what i had after i was done doing that now i'm going to take this to the sewing machine and just sew it round then you will do the same thing to the other sleeve. This is what I had after I was done sewing it round, guys. You can see how neat it came out. So this is it. Now the last thing I'm going to do is to join this hole together. So just take this to the sewing machine and sew it. This is what I had after I was done doing that, guys. So this is it. Now I'm going to give it the final ironing. So just go ahead and iron this out very, very well. So guys, when you get to the collar here, you are going to open it up. So the way you see me doing, just go ahead and open up your collar like this and iron it flat. Just like this.
so guys this is it this is what i had after i was done ironing this is how our blazer jacket came out you can see how nice it is looking so this is it guys this is how to sew a blazer jacket let me know what you think about this video in the comment section please don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you so much for watching i'll see you all in my next video